Hey there, happy Thursday all. Thanks for joining me for a craft night with friends. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here in the evenings at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time that we can relax and craft together. So this is the last day for the week, but I will be back Monday next week with all of you again. I will still be working on the ABCs. This is our last letter and we're gonna finish him up tonight. We're just doing like colorful letters, uh, satin stitch at the bottom. So we're just gonna continue that. I think we can finish it all tonight. Satin stitch takes a while, but I think we can, I think we can do it. We got a good start already. Uh, yeah, and then next week we'll be working on some of our unfinished things. Uh, we have the hand stitching of the letter P. We're doing, oh right here, uh, um, some uh, hand stitching of those clouds. And then we have the letter T, which is the turtle. Uh, we got some embroidery to do on there, but he is almost done. We got the letters and a little bit more in the shell. So that is uh, next week's plan, <laughs> uh, Monday through Thursday next week. Uh, and then we're done until uh, March. Uh, so, all right, you guys, let's get stitching on this zebra. All right here. All right, here we are. Thanks again for coming, everyone. So here we are is where we left off last night. Uh, we started, we finished the zebra. So he's done. We got his little blue eyes and little uh, smile in there. And now we're just going uh, satin stitching the Z's. We have it all prepped already. We kind of drew our guidelines in there and got my next piece of floss all prepped from yesterday. And let's just go. So I've been. Um, mixing up the strands for the satin stitch because I wanted the satin stitch I wanted uh, this part really really colorful since the zebra is basically all black and white and I've never stitched the zebra in just all black before so that's been kind of fun Ooh, and just <laughs> a little forewarning uh, the guys are um, doing some construction upstairs so it might get kind of loud so if you hear some banging and clonking um that's what's happening we got another inspection on all that tomorrow um kind of a, like a, another electrical inspection and then after tomorrow they're gonna start drywalling and uh, our bathroom is gonna start looking like a bathroom so i'm kind of stoked for that i think they gotta they're gonna be putting the um floor like baseboards in or subfloor that's what they're called the subfloor in and uh yeah gotta wait till the inspector's done with all that though we're getting getting through it trying to get it done before baby we're trying to get the whole thing done like at least two months before <laughs> before baby so we got till the end of March, but I think we'll get done before that. By we, I do not mean me. <laughs> I'm putting in my uh, two cents when it's asked or when it seems needed. <laughs> and and that's, that's it. So that's, that's John uh, nesting and getting family members to help him help him do so, which is awesome. All right, this is really pretty. I like seeing all this purple come through. We did uh, this the second strands that we picked here. We're picking up, so we're stitching with three strands of embroidery floss for this. And I'm picking three different colors uh, at the same time. So, and this is, we're on our second round of that. So this round we have purple, pink, and yellow. We're almost done already with with, uh, like I'm almost out of color already. So we'll have to decide what's next. But I do, I'm going for color. We're being kind of random still, but like I'm not gonna put like black in it or anything. I just want, just want the color to contrast uh, the zebra. Oh, one of many Katie's. I love how you did the zebra, that's so cute. Ooh, thanks so much. 
Yeah, we did a lot of, all the stripes are chain stitch. And I, I just love the look of chain stitch. I think that's still my favorite. And mostly because it still reminds me of like crochet and knitting and, you know, everything else that has a, a little chain stitch in it. Even tatting. Uh, now, that, now that I'm tatting, that has a, a chain. Or they call it just chain, though. I don't think they call it. You're making a chain, not a chain stitch. So I always, I always slip and say chain stitch for that. I haven't tatted in a little bit, though. Like, all these projects that I want to work on are, like, rising up, like, to where I'm, like, just going to get to the point where I need to work on it. Like, they're getting there. They're not quite there. And I think what's holding it back now is that I still have that, uh, I still have unfinished projects. Like, I want to move forward on that knitting project. That's something I'd like to go live um, sometime with. So maybe after March, our March uh, three weeks. Uh-oh, I'm... Oh, I almost lost it there. Almost got away from me there. Um, but after March, uh, the first three weeks, we're going to be at our normal 8.30 time, Monday through Thursday. But after that, we're going to be more random. Uh, we'll work on finishing up some projects and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and that's why we, we have the text messages now, just because uh, we are going to be more random. And then we can let you know when we'll be on. Uh, but yeah, I think it'd be fun to just come on for like some marathon knitting and stuff like that. Get that project going a little bit more. Definitely learning stuff on the knitting project, though. I love like, there's got to be like one something new or something I need to learn with with every project or I try to. And there's a few things uh, new to me on this knitting project, but everything else is the same, which is comforting and nice. Ooh, Lynn says my two favorite stitches are whipped back stitch and couching. Oh, I do like both of those. I don't do nearly enough of either of them, though. Like the whipped back stitch always looks so cool. It just looks like I love doing different colors too for the base back stitch and then the whip in a different color. It just um it just looks like pretty baker's twine all wrapped up on there. Okay, I think I think it's my last stitch. We must have done, oh yeah, we did. I'm like, we must have done uh, some whipped backstitch somewhere in this project. And I remember we did, we, we did it for like the unicorn, um, at least the letters on the unicorn, I think. I don't think we did any couching though. Hmm. We could do some couching in the free motion quilting. Ooh, and that just gave me an idea. Okay, so. Hold on, I think I got it behind me still. Like, okay, yeah, so let me grab grab something. It's machine, it's machine quilting. So, you know, but just with my sewing machine. But um, I've couched, it's another kind of couching. I've couched yarn onto it. Let me, let me grab it. It's just like a, a weird example. All right, so like this. So this is just me doing like a feather in free motion quilting, but I have, uh, there's other stuff behind here too. It was a scrap piece, uh, but I've put yarn through it. So uh, what I was just thinking is like, what if we did something like this on the corners? Cause we have, uh, let me show you that again. So here's our, Here's our um, quilt. It's gonna look like this, but we need, like we have the four corners that we have to deal with. Ooh, thanks for the order, uh, whoever just ordered. Um, so we were talking about maybe doing uh, this fabric for those four corners, because this is the back fabric. Um, this is just my practice, practice piece here, which I actually really like, this is cute. Uh, uh, I like how that turned out. But anyway, maybe we do some sort of like couching with it. So we could, you know, even if we did it on like one of these sides, we could like put little leaves and flowers all over in some yarn like this or something. That could be another idea. It could be even cute if we did it right on, you know, we could still do it on, 
uh, this back fabric. Actually, this would be like cute applique on this. That'd be another fun idea. Uh, but <laughs> like we need to make this more than it needs to be. But um, that's awfully cute. So anyway, I, I sort of like that idea of couching some yarn uh, as we do this, the corner quilting. I'm gonna keep that in my brain here. Uh, We'll see if we, we end up doing that or not. I'm gonna leave this actually down here as a little reminder though too, but that would be kind of fun, don't you think? Oh, one of my Katie says, the yarn definitely looks good. It is, it's cute. Like this would be, like, and it feels embroidery-ish still, right? Oh God, it looks even cute with a little embroidery next to it. Like our little, our little, uh, <laughs> our little zebra with it nearby. Okay, I kind of like that idea. I'm gonna have to think that through a little bit. Um, it would maybe pop a little bit more on the cream background, but I do like the idea of it being, you know, right on that colorful background too. I don't know, we'll have to think about that, but uh, Lynn, when you said couching, that uh, made me think of that and that'd be, that'd be really fun. All right, we're, we're, I ran out of thread, so let's uh, pick some new colors here out of the cloud. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I wanna choose different colors, so let's use, use an orange. First thing I grabbed. Oh gosh, that's a long freaking piece. There's a shorter piece in here. Uh, that's too short. I want like some length to it. This one might be a little longer. Oh no, those are still short pieces. Well, fine. I'll just go with the super long piece. What else? How about how about this dark purple? Oh, that's a really long piece too. Okay, well maybe we'll just do super long pieces. What else that we haven't used yet? I'm thinking maybe this is pale green. Another super duper long piece. Awesome. So I'm gonna pick, uh, I'm gonna just take one strand out of each of this. This will be enough to like finish, finish this first Z, I think, and probably even start the second Z. That would be kind of neat. Do Nolene's from the future. Hey, Nolene, did you get the text message? Um, like. 40 minutes ago or so. Uh, let me know if that worked for you uh, today. All right, I'm gonna grab a piece from here and then one from the orange and then I'll trim these all so this, they're the same length. This is really long though. I don't know if I'm gonna work with this long a thread because ugh, the longer the thread gets, the harder it is to kind of work with. So maybe I'll trim it anyway. I think it'll still go a ways. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna actually Let's trim it now. That orange one's way too long. Oh God, yeah, this is long. All right, I'm gonna just trim it like, let's just go like right here. Oop. And now I'll trim this orange to that too. Then pull a piece from here. All right, there. I feel better about that length. Let's grab, um, separate this again. And grab an orange piece. All right, Ugh, it's just getting caught on my sweater there. All right, this is another cute combo. I think I'll run it through the thread conditioner. Um, a little bit. There we go. Oh, it didn't? Huh. Okay, that's interesting. All right, I'm gonna, I'll contact support then tomorrow. I thought we kind of got it in there correctly. It did have the, it did have the country number on. Um, so that's super weird. So I will, I'll contact support. Uh, tomorrow, because don't know why that's working. I think we've covered our bases at this point, and we we double checked it to your um, Shopify account and stuff too. Uh, so yeah, th that there's like a actual problem then now. So we'll we'll um, we'll look into that again. Uh, the next one won't come through till Monday though. Um, all right, but yeah, I'll um. I'll contact them tomorrow. I keep forgetting that tomorrow is actually Friday, like all day today. 
I was thinking it's Friday. And then I was like just listening to TikTok lives and someone mentioned that it was Thursday. I'm like, oh God, yeah, that's right. It's Thursday. All right, we're woven in. Okay, so this one I'm angling down until we hit the bottom and then I'm turning and going vertical. It's almost gonna look like folded paper a little bit. I think. Kind of kind of cute. All right, just gonna bring the corner. Oh, with this purple, I think it might actually blend with the piece, the colors above a little bit. And then next time, I think we should get some more blues in there again. This is a different purple and a different, um, these are all different colors from the last one, but I guess they kind of feel like similar colors. And maybe we just need more of it on here before I decide. Oh, it's just nice having all this color in here though after the black and white zebra. I think it's nice contrast. All my stitches, I, I'm definitely leaning these stitches more than I want to today. Like I feel like I'm in just like, I don't know, like on habit or something, making them angle, but um, we're correcting them enough that I think they still look straight. I'm gonna put one more in here we really need it but I feel like I can sort of see the bottom of that line yet all right um okay so we got that angled all the way down there uh, I'm gonna do the verticals now I'm gonna actually just start on um I'm gonna do bottom to top um, and I'm, I'm gonna start on this this uh straight line here or this guideline, which I think was actually kind of crooked. Corrected that a little bit. And I'm gonna go back towards this corner because it's really difficult to start right on a corner. And one of the reasons I started from the bottom is I think it'll be easier to stab down into this diagonal line than for me to come up through it. Then maybe we'll go, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe we'll go to top to bottom when I jump back over to continue. I think that's what we did up there and that felt comfortable. Get in there. All right, getting used to that corner. A little tricky trying to keep that diagonal going too. They're not making much noise anymore up there. I hope they're not. I hope they didn't qu get quiet on my account because I said, I said they could keep being loud. That'd be fine. Maybe they're strategying for tomorrow. I think they're all pretty tired. I guess I'm just gonna, eh, I'm gonna go top to bottom. I like that better, I think. I jumped back over, got that corner in. Now I can see this darker, darker purple a little bit better, I think. Hey, Sally. All right, well, if we do get done, um, oh gosh, it's already 8.50, what? Been here 20 minutes already? That doesn't seem right. Um, well, I was gonna say, if we get this done uh, early, we can work on the letter Y's on the yak, um, trimming those up. And maybe we'll still have time for that. But we got this whole other Z yet, and man, those first 20 minutes just, Shimmy done by. We'll get it though. And like I said, next week we're gonna just kind of finish as much handwork stuff 
as possible. So even if we don't finish this, although I, I think we still will, um, we'll just tack this on to next week's. Oh, did I say tomorrow? I meant next week. Um, next week's uh, projects. And then we'll tack the yak onto that as well. But um, like I was saying earlier, it's mainly going to be uh, let's finish this turtle. I kind of want to do that first. Uh, we got the whole letter T, and then we got just like some lazy daisy leaves and some French knots that I kind of want to just toss around here. But ugh, it's just looking so cute. I love these little poofy leaves. I love this, how that's turning out. So this is going to be our, our first deal. Unless we have like the, the zebra and the yak to finish up. So here's the yak. Uh, we got to just trim down all, all the like little fuzzy, fuzzy Y's that we did. Um, you know. That shouldn't take forever, theoretically. Uh, so we gotta trim that. Let's pretend we don't get this finished, even though I think we will. Then we'll do that. Uh, just get those two out of the way, like in four minutes. <laughs> I don't know. And then, uh, then finish this. So I, this is what I want to get done on Monday. Uh, we might not finish the tea on Monday. I think we should do something simple for the teas. I don't know. We gotta figure that out. But then uh, this is the other like handwork piece. So it's the letter P. It's already like um, we got the batting and the backing for it. It's already pinned together, uh, but we're hand quilting it. So we're, we're machine quilting most all of them, except for we hand quilted the giraffe and we're going to hand quilt um, the pig. We're, we're hand quilting a bunch of clouds because he's he's got wings. He's kind of flying a little floating mushroom there, I guess. Um, oh, he's like a My Little Pony. We put a flower on his butt. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> so that's a lot of hand work to do. And I figured, eh. If we can get as much of that handwork done as possible, uh, then in March we can just full on do all the machine stitching. Like, get, well, I'll get the sewing machine out. We'll just free motion quilt like crazy. I mean, we do have to assemble a, a lot of these, uh, meaning we have to um, pin the fronts to the backs and the batting. And I think I have all those supplies ready to go. I should count um, before before um, March, but maybe the first day we'll, we'll pin it all together and then we can just blast them all out. <laughs> like do as many in a short amount of time as we can. And then we got this actual assembly of the quilt, which is, we've also started, um, but that's a lot of handwork. And I actually need the other sewing machine for that because uh, I still can't, I can't sew normally on the one that I free motion quilt on, the 70s Kenmore um, sewing machine, because the feed dogs still don't work. Uh, so <laughs> I'd have to like free motion a straight stitch to, to sew straight and that'd, that'd be kind of tough. So the feed dogs pull the, they like pull incrementally the um, fabric forward. And without that, you're just a slippery mess basically. Um. <laughs> So, which is great for free motion quilting, having those feed dogs down, but not great for sewing. So when we do the actual assembly, I'm gonna need to like move all the free motion quilting stuff and get that other sewing machine out. So I think we'll do it in stages. We'll just focus on free motion quilting everything, including the corners. We gotta do the corners and then we can just like be done and move on to the next step, which is assembly. So trimming everything, uh, and then doing that quilt as you go process to to get it together. So anyway, that that'll be March. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping in my head that first week we should be able to get through all the free motion quilting, even though I know we have a lot to do. But when we were doing it earlier, we were getting like three or four done, at least three done a day. So I think we can get it done in a week. And then after that, it's gonna be a lot of assembly and hand doing stuff that I'm not sure we'll finish by the end of our time in March. All right, I'm gonna weave this in and I, I am actually gonna start with this color. I just jump up there. Do we care that there's a little jump? Yeah, I kind of care. Fine, I'm gonna weave it in. We're gonna start with an away knot. Look how pretty it is on the back. That's kind of cute. Anyway, so that's kind of the game plan I got in my head for, for working on the quilt some more. And then if we don't get it done in March, I'll like 
start these poppins. Um, and maybe we can even do like a little bit of a marathon, especially um, early. <laughs> so the reason we're, the whole reason uh, I'm not gonna be going as live anymore is because of, you know, this baby stuff. I don't know how reliable I can be uh, with things. Like if I need to sleep or if I need to do something else or whatever, I'm gonna just have to have to do that, you know? Um, all right, I'm gonna just, Put our starting point here. So we'll get a little start with these same colors, which is kind of neat. I think I like that there's kind of a continuation of it. Get a few stitches in and then we'll weave in both these ends. And pick new colors. Dang, we might like not get this done. <laughs> it's another 10 minutes been went by. The heck? We're like time warping tonight, I feel like. Crazy. I'm excited for this bathroom upstairs like you know that's that's kind of the big the big pre-pregnancy or pre a baby uh project that we're getting done for baby <laughs> and uh oops i went a little too far on this one i'll fill it in right now um but you know so we're we have this little half story attic basically wood paneling and all that um that's our bedroom and so we were adding a bathroom up there. And then the rest of it, we're just kind of trying to make nice since we're doing the, doing the bathroom. Uh, so we're putting like a little mini counter next to the stairs and some, you know, like a little utility sink and stuff. So we're hoping to make it almost like a little kind of mini studio apartment up there. And so we can just kind of stay up there with baby or like you know wash bottles or whatever we can bring it downstairs too but like i don't know i think it's gonna be it's gonna be fun something that we could have done a long time ago but you know now we have a good excuse to do it Ooh, you just finished the violets awesome lynn now going back and finish the oh for the lilac starting line go with the squirrel in there that's fun dang i'm gonna a lot more out of this uh excess um from the first seed than i thought i thought i was just gonna get like maybe an eighth of an inch or something but we're getting almost this good portion of this top here Ooh, and uh keep a lookout you guys i'm telling you guys first <laughs> uh but we're gonna have a Kind of a big sale this weekend on all of our four inch embroidery kits they're going to be 25 percent off like friday through uh sunday so um we'll have an email going out tomorrow for that so keep a lookout for that if you're looking for any of the small kits which are which uh, which are perfect for spring because it's a whole lot of cute little flowers and we got the little farm animals all of our fun little like springy ones I think I'm gonna do one more and then we'll weave this in. But yeah, so um an email will go out for that. And and you, that's um you don't need a coupon code for that at all. They're just all like auto discounted already. I'm trying to I'm trying to like force spring uh to come at us, basically. Which it kind of is. I feel. I mean, it it was colder today, but still a little bit of sun, and um, I'm ready for it. Give me that like sixty degree weather. How about that? That'd be pretty cool. Suppose suppose you can give me the fifty degree weather first. We're we're just eking out some forties. Um, just barely a couple of a couple of these past few days. But don't give me any more big snows or ices or anything. Just 
give me the springs. That'd be nice. One, two, three. Okay, let's pick some new colors. I think maybe that's what's taken me a long time. Uh, is that I have to pick all, pick the next colors. Definitely think we should get some more pink and maybe some green in there. Um, here's some green, different green than we've used. Ooh, that's like a perfect length piece, I think. Green, um, how about this light colored blue? That's kind of pretty. Uh, that's kind of shorter than I want, though. How about this blue? Eh, kind of short still, but I suppose we could do it that long. Let's see, how does this compare to the green as far as length? Eh, fine. I don't know. Could be a little longer, but it's fine. Let's do it. And I don't know. Should we try and get. Oh, here's a really, really bright blue. All right, let's do these three. Okay, we're in we're in blue and green realm here, uh, which is fine. Uh, and then I definitely think we should add some more pink though after this. This, you know, will um will need to do another round for sure. Another round of colors. Two. Oh, Jennifer says, sign me up for the spring weather. It's like an ice rink everywhere. <laughs> yes. God, we had rain a, a couple days ago. That felt springy, even though it was like all day and miserable, but still. <laughs> Turned to an ice storm afterwards, though, of course, but like. I could pretend it was spring for a moment because I could hear rain on the on the roof. That was kind of been a while for that. But yeah, I want all the ice off the roads. We still have like big kerchunks of um <laughs> chunks, but I like the word kerchunk. Um chunks of ice and snow all over the road yet. Yeah, it's still pretty miserable and we have huge snow banks and everything still. So um I'd love to start. I haven't really walked around much lately, which sucks. I used to go for so many walks, like a walk every single day, and I haven't been doing that at all. Um, so, I don't know, it's because it's been hurting my hips, or, or I, you know, when my hips hurt, like, months and months ago, like, right before I found out that I was pregnant, um, like, that, I couldn't hardly walk, because it just hurt my hips, and it's kind of been a little lingering since then, and, you know, and then we just couldn't, because there was so much ice, and the roads were just so narrow from all the snow it just wasn't safe to walk around really um and so we just haven't been but ugh, I'm, I'm missing being outside and doing that and last year yeah i walked every day like no matter what the weather was like bundled up with all my stuff and um just went out and did it but not this year I suppose I don't want to like accidentally slip or something, but you know, I don't know. I don't think that's too likely to happen. I go slow. But I'm definitely itching, itching to do that. All right, I'm gonna finish this little, uh, the end here and we'll switch angles to go sideways again. And dang, maybe we won't finish this tonight, which is fine. That's what next week's for. Like I said, finishing up all these little remainders. Am I singing to the baby? <laughs> Not, I mean, like, in my head a little bit. I haven't really <laughs> out loud. <sighs> if I was alone, maybe I went a little bit, but there's just, I don't know, a lot of people around. Although I, I was talking to Jenna. Uh, this morning, kind of wondering if it'll end up being like a musical baby because John's um, family is super duper musical. Um, like his mom sings and his his brother is like a music educator um, and teaches like singing and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> 
I also think she might come out with like the longest legs ever. John's super tall. <laughs> and already, I feel like in the ultrasounds that she's got long legs. Even though I, I, I was looking at the ultrasound like info and stuff right more or like more and like the femur in the last ultrasound, which was a couple weeks ago. Um, the femur, which is, you know, the biggest leg in the leg, like your upper leg, that bone was like 40 point like one uh, millimeters. So that's only like this big, right? <laughs> so still, still small, um, smaller than, you know, when you look at an ultrasound, what you think, think size appears as. By the way, but yeah, it looks like she has long legs, which would make sense. Oh, read to your baby, Lynn says. Oh, that'd be fun. I should just, uh, start doing some of that. We'll see. I, I mean, now, now, theoretically, it's past, or we're kind of like just past 24 weeks, and that's, um, around the time when, uh, the brain, um, nerves can connect to the rest of the body and that sort of thing, so. Theoretically, at this point, some of that stuff might affect things. I don't know. All right, so we're going to get through these blues and greens, and I think we need to add some pink to the next one. But again, I don't know. Time's just whipping by tonight, so. We might not get this whole thing done. It's really fun though. It's almost like tie dye, it, like all these colors. I just think it's looking really cute with the, like it's just such a neat contrast with the black. <laughs> no, Aline says your baby will be well versed in stitching terminology after listening to all the lives. That's for sure. I was thinking, I, we've had this conversation, but we, it came up this morning again of, of names. <laughs> and I was trying to think of what if, just for funsies, like this is a while back, it'd be like, what are like crafty related names? <laughs> and one of them, uh, Jenna still really likes, um, and I think it's actually kind of pretty yet too, is Ada, <laughs> like A-I-D-A, -A, like, uh, like cross-stitch fabric, the Ada cross-stitch fabric, <laughs> so that'd be hilarious, I think, to do a craft-related name. Uh, I'm thinking that's yeah, not happening, but still. Another one is, is Pearl, like knits and pearls. That's an old lady name that, that has to do with crafting. <laughs> Same with like Ada, so. Those are the only two that I can think of that felt like normal names. <laughs> but I'm not sure either of those are on the list anymore. We'll see. But I just think that's silly and fun. All right, I like all this blue. I like how it's contrasting um, this side. That's all like pink and this is all like the blues. Oh, your cousin's daughter's name is Ada. Oh, that's cute. Let me know if I pronounced that right. See, it'd be fun. Pearl could be spelled P-U-R-L instead of E-A-R-L. Then, then it'd be a... Uh... <laughs> Truly like a knits and pearls. Oh, God. I think that'd be hilarious still. That might be too over the top.
Well, that's tough. Like, like, oh, it is pronounced as Ada. Oh, and it's A D A. Oh, that's cute. Oh, uh, Lynn just says I should just do Ada Pearl. <laughs> there, there you go. Done so. But man, it took a long time to to even come to like Ada and Pearl for like craft related names. You think that'd be like just the easiest thing? Like, oh, let's let's pick a area and like there's got to be like something that would work. But like, but but think about it. Like, think about crafting and whatever. Like, it is not like there aren't words that jump to mind that feel like a name <laughs> like you're not gonna, gonna name you know your kid like thread or something you know so i don't know it's just it it took a while like it took longer than i expected to come up with anything crafty related for funsies okay this is maybe a mistake um you know what i think i'm gonna actually end this piece of floss here because i, I kind of want to do that backtracking but I'm gonna I'm not gonna have enough floss to like go back a couple stitches. I think I'm gonna just start fresh on this bottom row here. Yeah, crafting brand names, yeah. That's the one thing with Ada, because I think Ada is more like a brand, right? And I don't know, I'm not wild about. Even though it's it's like a common used term. You know, like Kleenex. Um People say Kleenexes instead of just like tissues a lot of times. I think that's kind of like what Ada is. So that's that's another hesitancy on, on that. Do the light pink. But uh, I'm not wild about it being after a brand. Ooh, that's a perfect thing. Okay, um, what else do we got? We could do this um, super pale green. We haven't done that yet. What about this cream color? Oh, how about this bright orange? That's really bright. I don't think we've done that yet either. Oh, well, you're short. You ain't gonna work. Um, do I have a different one of those? No, but I have this other one that's kind of pretty. Your peach color. That's not all that long either, but I think it's long enough. We don't really have much to do here. Zoop. One. Oh, we've definitely looked up great grandmother, grand aunt names. Uh, we, a TikTok came up the other day of like some woman who's like, I collect old yearbooks and uh, you know look at them for like to see what the popular baby names were of the time and what hasn't been trending for a long time and. There was, like, the only one I remember that was just, like, because some of them were just so different that I, I had never heard them before. But, like, one was, uh, we wouldn't do this, but I, I just thought it was so interesting. One was um, I-C-Y, like, icy, but it's pronounced E-C, and it's short for Bernice. But the, it became popular on its own, so, um, like, without, like, it as its own name, not as, as the nickname itself. So, um, EC, but like spelled like icy. And I'm like, oh my God, that'd be appropriate for, you know, Minnesota. But it had like old, old nicknames like that, that were turned into names because they became popular. You know, 1880 or something. <laughs> but there are a couple other fun ones in there. No sticking ones, I don't think, but fun to, fun to look at. All right, I'm hoping we have just enough time to finish up this bottom little bit here. I'm going to try and cruise through it. We got a little, we got like 14 minutes left here. Oop, get through there. I think it'll be a nice last way to wrap it up and I'm going to oh let's do bottom of top again start out with start on my little um uh guidepost again oh, getting stuck. 
There we go. Ooh, look at these pretty pale colors. This is gonna be a cute way to end it. Ugh, how colorful. I should do this more often to use up floss. Just stitch all the colors together at once. Maybe I need like a project that's an ongoing use up floss project that just does this. Like some big embroidery or something that I only do with weird combo colors like this. I suppose any of the embroideries I could do this, like, you know, the zebra could have been done um, with all these weird colors. So I suppose I could pick any, any of my embroideries and like the lilac one um, that you're saying earlier, the lilac one would have been just pretty all colors. Maybe I'll do that. I'll have to think about that. What what embroidery pattern would be cute with random mismatches of colors and then just uh -oh, do that with um my excess floss. All right, coming back over, we'll go top to bottom here. I think we got maybe 12 stitches left. Uh, maybe not, maybe like 25 stitches left on this and then we're done. Oh, your grandmother's name was Thalia. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't heard that one. That's neat. They're one of the ones in this like list of nicknames from like the 1880s or whatever that were popular enough to like be named as its full name itself without it being a nickname anymore. Um, there's, I'm going to have to watch it again. I must have hearted it on TikTok. But there was one that was a kind of a weird shortened version of Patricia, which is my mom's name. So that would have been really funny. But it was weird. It was like, oh God, it was like petty or something. And I, and I don't even, I don't even think that was right. There might've been a TH in there even. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to look that up. It, it wouldn't have fit, but like that would have been kind of a fun way like to the 1880s version of of that, of Patricia. It was off. Like you would not have known that that was the base name for, for this nickname. Like you definitely would have, would not have guessed it, you know, within 10 guesses. <laughs> So it was, it was a little goofy. But EC for Bernice was pretty un unusual, I thought. Okay, this is those, these are those like sherbet colors together that I really like and that makes me want ice cream. All right, a few more stitches and we're definitely finishing this. Ah, and that feels good. Wasn't sure as we got going here. All those colors are looking fun though. And I think we'll have a few minutes yet to work on these letter Ys. I think um maybe we'll try and trim it outside of the hoop. Trim those Ys outside of the hoop first. I'm not quite positive how that's going to go down. I might have to get it back in the hoop. But I thought I'd give it a try. Just going to add maybe one more stitch after this. Mm, probably don't need it, but we'll do one more. Just to make sure I'm covering up that last little bit of line. All right, pretty cute. All right, I'm gonna weave that end in. Hey, this is it. This is the last, last embroidery. I guess we're not done quite yet. Last letter of the alphabet done. But we gotta, we gotta go back and get some of them other ones done yet. Ooh, a lot of, a lot of floss going through there. All right, there he is. Oh, just a little bit of color is so neat at the bottom here. So um, that's it close up. Let me get really close for you guys up here. There we go. Lots of fun little color in there. Cute. All right, so 
He's done. Let's uh, just, since we have a few more minutes here, let's just hop back to this guy um, and see if we can <laughs> clean him up a little bit. So I'm gonna just kind of shush everything up. So now he's not in the hoop, which I don't know is gonna work well. I'm a little afraid of like accidentally. Yeah, I'm afraid. Let's put him in a hoop. Afraid of, um accidentally cutting a hole in the fabric instead and I would be sad sad if that happened oh those are fun names uh Noeline says my dad's aunties were Sadie Elsie Edie E-A-D-I-E oh that's cute Ophira oh I haven't heard either of those Emmy Daphne I always like that one Joyce and Gladys oh fun they're all fun I like all the old lady names. I think they're fun. All right, this makes me feel better. All right, I'm gonna just trim. I do want the sides, I think, to be a little shorter. I think that was looking better on um, the large Y, and I think we need to finish the large Y yet, too. So this is a lot like, um, the uh pom-poms like we really got to shape those quite a bit it always seems we're just gonna make a huge mess here too while we do this and you know these are gonna go all over the place so we'll see how well we can even get these to look like wise but that's kind of the, the idea. They can look crazy and fun. Curve these sides a little bit too. And you know, these are just going to get fuzzier and fuzzier too, which is fine. Okay, this little Y. Oh my god, look at this mess. The little Y is already looking um, cuter, I think. Like more Y like. So I think the little short sides is a good idea. We need to just trim off the whole top a little bit. Here, cut time. <laughs> so silly. They're fun, though. It's fun. Inner. Inner lines are going to be short. <laughs> that might be all the better this is going to get. But oh, I I, need, I have a uh, here we go a roller filled with red from last time we did this. probably work better out of the hoop, but. Let's see what we can get so far. Oh yeah, that's looking crazy still. We need to work on that. Oh, this, this um goes in here, that's right. So we need to trim this inside area quite a bit. We'll see how well this quilts. We'll definitely have to go around these letters so we don't accidentally quilt them down. A lot of polyfine spots yet. Almost need a curved scissors to get in here. I have, I should get one of those out. Work on this some more next time. All right, let's just clean it up again quick, and I think we'll call it good enough.
gonna look weird when I go over it like this, but I think we can kind of like shape it a little bit. And I think it still implies Y's, especially when it's in the rest of the quilt. Um, clearly, it'll obviously mean the letter Y because uh, of its placement and because of the yak. Can't get those little guys there. Come here, you two. Um, and I think even poofed up, you do get a little bit of a sense of the Y, but then when you clean it up a little bit, like if I shush it all, you know, floof it all up so that everything's just standing straight up, then you definitely get more of the, the Y to it. <laughs> so uh, look how floofy they are. I think this just turned out super silly and fun. So awesome, so I'm gonna call that guy done enough. And so we got the Y and the Z uh, <laughs> pretty much done. I'm gonna have to pick off the little, more little red pieces from here, but um, I think it's looking pretty cute. All right, you guys, let's call it there. All right, so uh, here is the Z, all cute and colorful. And uh, uh, then our little, our little fuzzy yak there. Ah, that feels good. That feels good to have those done. And then we just have that letter T uh, that we'll do next week. We'll finish that up and then we will do some hand quilting. And that is always just so relaxing. So that'll be really fun to get back in it again. Uh, so awesome, you guys. Thank you again for uh, hanging out with me again this evening. Um, I will be back Monday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, make sure to sign up uh, for those text messages if you want a reminder on Monday. And have a lovely, lovely weekend, everyone. Good night.